Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Brian Walsh, Product Marketing Manager here at Parallel Wireless. In today's video, I'll share some advances we're seeing in artificial intelligence and machine learning. Advances that can help mobile operators optimize and automate their network operations while making these networks more predictable and less costly to manage. First, let's set the stage. There's no doubt that mobile network operators are facing strong pressures to involve their businesses and their operations to support profitable growth and differentiation. Explosive demand for bandwidth persists while RP pressures mount due to competition and limited service innovation. And yet users continue to demand more performance while ARPUs remain flat and declining in some cases. Meanwhile, operators are seeing rising CapEx and OpEx associated with the move to newer technologies such as 5G, which then brings ever-rising end-user expectations. And with these challenges and demands of mobile networks come ever-increasing OpEx costs and complexity. Additionally, supporting multiple access networks for 2G, 3G, 4G, and now 5G requires ever more RAN capacity and denser networks. The 4G radio access network is roughly 10 times denser than the 3G network, and that densification is predicted to continue. 5G networks are predicted to be as much as 10 times denser than 4G networks, which will make them 100 times denser than 3G networks. As mobile networks are growing more complex and more costly to operate, the self-optimizing capabilities found in an open RAN solution will be essential to efficiently manage them. And this self-optimization capability comes from a number of areas. Automation of network tasks can simplify management and operation while helping operators execute at scale without dramatically increasing support staff. Secondly, the ORAN compliant architecture inherently incorporates intelligent frameworks for machine learning, specifically the RAN Intelligent Controller, also known as the RIC. The RIC enables programmatic control of the RAN at both a near real-time and non-real-time level. The next area of self-optimization comes from RIC applications such as R apps and X apps. These enable automatic execution of data-driven decision-making and machine language models. These XF and R apps enable a network to use the right level of automation and intelligent controls depending on the complexity of the operation. And lastly, the wealth of network data analytics that will be captured in an open RAM environment can be processed by predictive AI ML models. These models can be trained and retrained for predictive intelligent operation. This will be a huge advancement for our industry by leveraging automation to the fullest extent and eliminating the element of human error. Let's discuss this area of AI and machine learning in more detail. Machine learning is a sub-discipline of artificial intelligence that can be used to bring new capabilities to mobile networks. It can be used for a number of things, including predicting and forecasting parameters in the future, recognizing occurrence of patterns from large logs, detecting anomalies in measured values, predicting possibilities of failure future, and classifying objects in real time. And with these machine learning predictions and classifications, operators can deploy intelligent applications that improve the operation of the network. Some of the benefits operators include avoiding catastrophic failure of devices, improving customer experiences, and essentially provisioning resources at the right place and the right time based on data-driven decision-making. In many cases, using advanced machine learning-based forecasting and decisions to manage the network eliminates the human element from simple operational decision-making. It brings in expert level operational efficiencies to the network. The parallel wireless cloud native all G open RAN architecture shown here contains many of the network elements that are instrumental in building in these AI ML capabilities that we've been discussing. Our solution is software upgradable and thus reduces the cost and complexity of transitioning networks to 5G. Parallel Wireless provides a variety of solution options spanning the complete end-to-end -end ecosystem, such as RU options with multiple radio hardware vendors that can interconnect with the Parallel Wireless DU and CU within the Open RAN ecosystem. The old in the diagram shows 
within the ORAN architecture where the RAN Intelligent Control framework lies. This RIC framework enables mobile operators to use AI, ML, policies, and enrichment information to execute the RAN intent or the business objectives towards the RAN while automating and optimizing RAN operations at scale. Let's look at how an open RAN solution with a built-in AI ML framework and a RAN intelligent controller integrates AI ML based decision making. ML models are trained based on data received from different network functions for analysis. The ML model training facility is composed of parallel wireless software, data and control flows, and data science learning algorithms. It's essentially the engine through which the customer data is fed. These models are then used for inferencing and acting on other RAN nodes to fine tune the network, providing the best end user experience. ML inferenced actions can be manifested in R apps and X apps, as well as in the CU or the DU, or even in the EMS, wherever it makes most sense to solve the mobile operator's network issue. An ML model is a knowledge base. It only knows how to solve a problem through training with data. Once it's trained, it creates a model to do the inferencing, forecasting, etc. The goal is to use these predictions for network planning, for power savings, and other network actions that will bring benefits to the mobile operator in self-optimizing the network. Let's take a look at how AI and machine learning models can be put into place to enable mobile operators to better manage network resources. In this example, let's look at dynamic traffic control. In the scenario we're looking at here, we see a variety of urban areas, including a stadium, a business district, and a transportation hub. We see coverage cells providing mobile network services for these areas along with additional capacity cells that are intermittently brought online when demand increases beyond the capability of the coverage cells. Presently, for mobile network traffic planning, most operators use long-term trend analysis as a basis to program the schedulers that turn on and off the capacity cells at predetermined intervals. But you can't schedule many unpredictable events, such as weather, pandemic impacts, and other variables that impact the demands of the mobile network. Trend analysis-based traffic optimization technique is static. It requires constant manual tuning to deal with cyclical traffic pattern changes. And to operate within safe limits, operators maintain higher capacity buffers to respond to micro-level traffic demands to maintain quality of service. To meet dynamic traffic peaks, operators over-provision capacity throughput and coverage in these areas, which adds to higher operating costs to the bottom line. In the future, for dynamic traffic management, machine learning models in the RAN architecture will continually forecast network traffic for a zone based on predictions. Forecasting accuracy will enable better operational efficiencies and reduction in costs. Here's that same scenario in the morning between the hours of 7 and 10 a.m. We see lots of mobile users arriving in the commuter rail station, driving into the city center, and walking into their offices in the business center. The graph here represents the ML modeling of the transport hub in business district areas. The line graph shows both the ML predicted capacity needed in the red line, which runs ahead in time, of the blue line, which shows the actual capacity needed by the devices on the network. This example shows a very accurate model able to efficiently manage when capacity cells are needed to be brought online, as the predicted demand exceeds the capability of the covered cells. Now we see the same scenario but in the middle of the day, between the hours of 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. We see people moving around the business district, nearby shops and restaurants. There's less vehicle traffic and only a little activity near the transport hub. Again, the red line on the graph shows predicted capacity needs versus the blue line, which is showing the actual capacity needed in the business district. And again, we see an accurate ML forecasting model in action. 
which would enable better operational efficiency and a reduction in cost for the operator in turning on capacity cells. This fully automated, intelligent network operation enables better management of resources. The two graphs here show how the predictive machine learning model can even factor in the effects of forecasted weather on the predicted capacity demands of the network. Here, under poor weather conditions, the model is also forecasting for fewer mobile users and devices, as well as a later start in the time for the demands on the network. Now in our demonstration scenario, it's early evening. Users and activities shift to the stadium because there's a game playing tonight. But the transport hub in the business district are quiet, thus the capacity cells in those areas are turned off. The line graph again shows predicted capacity required versus the actual traffic in the stadium area. Again, the ML model helps mobile operators continually forecast network traffic for a geographical area and then adjust capacity for demand. This was an example of how machine learning models can improve accuracy of traffic forecasting and thus enable better operational efficiency and reduction in operating costs for the mobile operator. Let's summarize. Parallel Wireless's open, innovative, software-based open RAN solution puts mobile operators in the driver's seat for network design and evolution. With a more intelligent and self-optimizing open RAN network, mobile operators will be able to lower the cost of operating their networks, better manage the complexity, and begin to exploit these emerging AI ML concepts. With Parallel Wireless's Open RAN solution, mobile operators can expect these business benefits. Deployment cost reduction. The disaggregation of hardware and software allows abundance of capacity at much lower cost. non proprietary interfaces for LG give operators the ability to select any vendor for hardware, including radio units and cost service. And agility through software delivers network deployments up to 50% faster than traditional RAN. Other benefits come from Open RAN being an out-of-the-box solution. Cloud nativeness brings elastic scalability across all components. RAN functions are deployed as microservices and containers, bringing agility with no capacity or coverage limits. Intelligent optimization in real time comes through ZTP, CICD, and AI and ML. And all of these benefits help operators meet the 5G economic requirements of increased network density. Lastly, Open RAN brings new business opportunities. By bringing 4G and 5G capabilities such as low latency, network slicing, RAN sharing, MNOs can provide differentiated services resulting in new revenue opportunities and a faster return on investment. That's all for today's video. I hope it was helpful. If you'd like more information from Parallel Wireless, you can find us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as our website at parallelwireless.com. As always, thank you for listening, and we hope to see you here again soon for our next video.